Look at those deposits, Admiral. I've never seen deposits of hydrillium in such quantity. The coordinates were 100% accurate. Well, you're the geologist, Dr. Sprague. You led us to them. Nonsense. I was fortunate to be assigned to you by the World Commission. I believe that between us, we've located ore for exotic fuel that'll advance our space exploration half a century. Well, there's more than that out there, Doctor. There's beryllium, lithium, manganese nodules. It's uh, an amazingly wealthy source for rare minerals of all kinds. Yes, well, of course, the commercial aspect doesn't concern me. It's the all-out push for intergalactic fuel that interests me. Could we get a little closer? I'd like to examine them at close range. Uh, 900 feet. Chief, will you verify that reading and uh, check our rate of descent? Aye, aye, sir. Diving bell to sea view. Diving bell to sea view. Verify. Depth, 900 feet. Check. Rate of descent. We read 900 feet, Chief. Rate of descent still normal. Uh, take it down another 500. Aye, aye, sir. Maintain present rate of descent for another 500 feet. Roger. Missile room to control. Diving bell still descending. All reports say OK. Very well, Chip. Carry on. Aye, sir. Skipper. What is it? Sudden change of pattern, sir. Full scale disturbance bearing 030. Disturbance. We've had no warnings for meteorology. Oh, that's right. Scale reading 7.3. Could it be a severe earthquake, sir? Oh, I don't think so, Kowalski. Looks more like a tidal wave, and it's approaching fast. Unbelievable. We can start mining operations in two months. And our first spaceship, Jupiter, will be able to blast off precisely on schedule. Agreed. We'll be on our way. Admiral, get ready for ascent. We're terminating the dive. Really, I don't understand. All procedure's normal down here. There's a tidal wave approaching. We'll try to get you aboard before it hits. But get ready for possible impact. Missile room. Bring that diving bell up fast. Reverse the winch. Increase acceleration four points. Attention, all hands. Brace for wave impact. Control reports serious damage to main circus, Captain. Less than half power available. Anything else? Leakage of frames 33 and 34, sir. That means exterior repairs. Dangerous surface turbulence, sir. Then we'll have to work underwater. Chip, our communications restored. 
Can you hear me? We read you A-OK, -okay, Lee. Oh, what's your report on the bell? The cable snapped. The winds ran wild and flamed out. We lost contact with it, Lee. Nothing, uh, nothing from them at all? Not a thing. All right, keep trying, Jeffy. Sonar, intensify scanning. Let me know if anything shows up that could possibly be that bell. Activate all bridge, sail, and nose cameras. 360 degree scanning arc. Find that bell. Aye, sir. Repair crew, this is the captain. Get an underwater welding party into operation. As soon as we get our power back and the sub is operational, prepare for cruising search pattern as quickly as possible. Aye, sir. Do you think we can find the Admiral, sir? We'll find him. We'll find him, Kowalski. Send to save you. Now send to save you. You read me. Uh, what happened, Emma? Uh, tidal wave yesterday. The Noctis uh, Cali West. Can't you contact the save you? No, oh, some mutations are out. It's very strange. There's no movement. No. Look at that. It's impossible. Well, it's true, Doctor. We're on land. But we were 2,000 feet under the sea. Doctor, you know perfectly well that tidal waves have enormous force. Bigger objects than this diving bell have been scooped off the ocean floor and thrown on the land. Chief. See if you can do anything with the radio. Thanks. Nice. We've got a contact CV. Diving bell, calling sea view. Diving bell, calling sea view. Well, let's open this up. The oxygen's not going to last much longer. Feel full. I don't want to lose that diving bell. I want to find it. Aye, right, sir. Captain, the communications. What's the matter with those camera reports? We've got a diving bell to locate. I want to find it fast. We're working on it, sir. Repair party ready, Captain. All right. Get with it, Jeff. I don't know what kind of trouble the Admiral's in. Right. Move out, man. Admiral, you're not going out there. There's no choice. We can't drive that creature away. He's leveled to the size of this diving bell as some kind of a choice tidbit. You stay back there out of the way. Uh, uh, Chief, how sir? about the radio? I'm still working on it, sir. I need another five minutes. Well, if I can't get rid of this thing, you might not even have five minutes.
Repair team, what's your status? Proceeding normally, sir. Now, how much longer? Maybe 20 minutes. Look out. Look out! Oh, what is it? Sharks, sharks, move off, men! Move off! Stand by escape hatch. Divers under attack by sharks. We're gonna see if we can locate the beach. Now, the minute you get the radio working, contact CU and report our little, uh, problem. Hi, sir. Watch yourself. Yeah, you too. Uh, any trouble, you fire a warning shot, right? Aye, aye. Ready, Doctor? Yes, Admiral. I guess so. Although, to tell you the truth, I find this island very frightening. I'm not so happy about it myself. Uh, once we get to the beach, we can build a signal fire. Yes, but which way do we go? Hmm. Uh, looks like one way is as good as another. Come on. What do you make of that? Better leave it alone. We don't know what it is, and I got no time to theorize about it now. Hey, Sprague. Come on. Sprague. Oh, I'm sorry, Admiral. Yes, let's uh, let's get underway. Go, by all means. This ought to be quite an adventure. Adventure? Too bad. We didn't finish repairs on frame 34. Well, we've got to move on without it. We've got to start search pattern. No word from the diving bell. No, nothing. Prepare to get underway. All ahead slow. Cruising pattern, 120 degree arcs at five minute intervals. Aye, aye, sir. Easy, Sprague. There's no rush. Oh, come on, Admiral. Let's push on. Uh, strange terrain like this. You better move with caution. Nonsense. <laughs> I'll admit, I felt a little apprehensive in that diving belt, but now I'm full of optimism. Even with that out there? <laughs> He's probably harmless. All right, come on. We've got to find that beach.
You there? In one piece, I think. What about that blasted lizard? Well, I drove him away, but I'm afraid it's only temporary. Dr. Sprague? Uh, he wandered off someplace by himself. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Chief, we better find him before our antediluvian friend does. Just my luck, and I had communications operational, and then pow. Are you in touch with Seaview? I was just about to start sending. Well, come on outside here. Keep your weather eye peeled for that monster. I'm gonna see if I can reach Seaview. I shall. Sparks, keep the communication system hooked into your receiver. If the Admiral calls in, I want to receive him direct. Aye, aye, sir. Latest seismograph report. Doesn't look good. Uh, that's no surprise, Chip. A secondary shock usually follows a tidal wave. The only question is how hard and how soon it'll hit. Less than three hours this time. The weather room says the pressure that's building is terrific. We may have to stop the search. No. We've got to find that diving bell. We can't dive below the turbulence frame. 34 will split wide open. All right, we've got to take that chance. It's the only thing that matters now. Nelson to Seville. Nelson to Seville. You read me. We read you loud and clear, Admiral. Are you all right? Me? What are you doing on Seaview? I, I thought I saw you here on the island. Island? What island, sir? Where are you? We were tossed up on some volcanic island. Uh, and I was sure I saw you here in the... In the oh, well, never mind about that now. Uh, what's the situation? Well, we've, uh, we've got some serious hull damage, Admiral. We can't go below a thousand feet, and uh, a secondary wave is due within the next three hours. Uh, we're marooned here, and uh, we're being attacked by some kind of a giant lizard. <laughs> Get out. What? Admiral, hurry. Flying sub for immediate launch. Aye, sir. Kowalski, lay up front on the double. Right, sir. Front. The Admiral's on a volcanic island, latitude and longitude unknown, and under attack by a giant lizard. What are you going to do, Lee? Scout the area until we find them. That's what we're going to do. Something moving over there. Uh. Spray. Where do you think you're going? Admiral Nelson and Sharky. Well, what the devil have you been? Oh, I was looking for you. We've been calling for you all over the place. Didn't you hear us? No, I didn't hear anything. I was just trying to find my way back to the bell. What's the matter? Uh, the overgrown Gila monster got to it like a dog with a bone. No. That's too bad. What's going on with you, Sprague? You all right? What's the matter? You seen things? Well, we better be getting on, hadn't we, Admiral? You want to find the beach, don't you? Five. 
traffic in treasure ships from South America to Spain in those days. Right. And islands like this one were used for rendezvous points. May I see it, Errol? Sure. Thanks. Admiral, you think this island was used by pirates? No, it looks like it, Chief. I wonder if that thing out there got this uh, poor joker. That's 400 years old. You know what that means? There's pirate treasure on this island. Maybe untold wealth. Maybe more valuable than the ores we found in the sea. Let's look for it. Don't you realize our lives are at stake? We've got to get off this island. I know, but let's find that treasure first. There's another tidal wave coming in less than three hours. Admiral, there's treasure on this island for the taking. I know it. No. Well, I'm going to look for it myself. No. We're moving on. Admiral. got away. What got away? Didn't you see him? See what, man? Like nothing I ever saw before in my life, not even a nightmare. But he went down the trail. You must have passed him. We didn't see anything. You must have imagined it. Uh, am I imagining that? Huh? No, no, you're not. Well, why should I just have imagined what I said? I don't know, huh? Chief. We haven't got time to worry about it now. Deserted me. There are more doubloons, aren't there? There's all kinds of treasure, isn't there? Where is it? Can you take me to it? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Touch me in the FS1 channel. Aye, sir. Morton FS1. Morton to FS1. Yes, Jeff. We still haven't spawned to the island. Your reports here, Lee. Both sonar and seismograph indicate tremendous buildup of pressure. A new tidal wave will hit here in less than two hours. Captain, did a hit. Jeff, we've spawned to the island. I'm going down. Keep straight on course until further notice. All right, sir. It was me. 
that kid, you know, I tried to stop it. Kill me? Yes. What was trying to kill me? Well, that, that thing, the thing I saw before is right behind you. I tried to shoot it, but when my gun was empty. Oh. You were gonna, yeah. gonna run in through with your sword, huh? Yeah. Well, Listen, we, we gotta find him, Edna. Hey, Chief, I keep telling you there was nothing there. Sir, I saw it. All right, just show me any signs of it around here. Now, look, Admiral, you, you, you know me for a long time. I'm a practical man, a very practical man. I mean, I, I, I just don't go around seeing things. Well, a little while, I'd, uh, I'll tell you something, Chief. A little while ago, I thought that I saw Captain Crane. Here? Skipper. Uh, it's impossible, because I know that now, that uh, I was uh, hallucinating, just as you were. Well, why? Uh, I, how do you account for that? Maybe it's uh, something in the atmosphere, uh, some kind of hallucinatory gases. You mean there's something in the air here that makes us see things that are not really here? Yeah, it could be having a temporary hallucinatory effect on all of us. <laughs> Hallucinatory? No, no, that was real. That was fine, that's spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd better take this. seems to be coming through the ventilation ports. Flying sub, Admiral, they found us. Not yet, Chief. We can't see them. They, they certainly can't see us. Just listen to that, will you? Uh, well, except that Sprague hears it and gets back to us. Hey, Sprague! the treasure. How much further? You said you'd lead me to it. Still searching for us. Help! 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 Is this way? I think so, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm going out there. Just put your arms up. Help me. There's nothing I can reach with, sir. Help me. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get on that side. Hi, right, sir. Help me. Hold Help on. Me. Spread your arms. Help me. I can't. Officer, we'll have to tie a vine around him. Keep circling, Kowalski. There's uh, some kind of wreckage below. Diving bell, sir? Yeah, it looks like it. All that's left of it. Are you all right? Kowalski, anything wrong? No, sir. Ready to pass over wreckage area again. Well, let's hope it's the bell. Hold on, Skipper. What's the matter? The mountain, Skipper, the mountain? What mountain? Level off. Level off. We have to clear the pit. Look at your altimeter. I, I don't get it, sir. I don't understand. We're 10,000 feet up now. We were under 1,000 when you started to climb. Skipper, that mountain. I saw it dead ahead. What mountain? Sir, it's... The shivers are both here. And... Look, look, Quasi. Do you, uh, do you see any mountain out there? Now, look. No, sir. I could have sworn, Skipper. Look, you were rubbing your eyes before. What was wrong? Were you seeing anything then? Yes, sir. I thought I saw things. They were, they were kind of like blurs. I can't explain it, sir. All right, resume course. and then we'll land. Yes, sir. Move, man, will you? Things are getting closer. Just hurry. You're struggling. Will you let yourself go limp? Treasure. I gotta get back to my treasure. Sir, I don't know what you think you found down there, but whatever it was, it wasn't treasure. Let's move on. My treasure! <laughs> my treasure! I heard the Admiral move!
us off. We can't get to the beach. Head for the rocks over there. See that mountain too? Uh, I did. But uh, you didn't this time, right? No, sir. Not this time. What's it all about, Captain? Uh, this, uh, this island mist we took aboard. It must have had some kind of a hallucinatory power. Sea view to FS1. Sea view to FS1. How uh, we read you, ship? Lee, we're standing off the island periscope depth. Where are you? Have you found Admiral Nelson? Not yet. Our latest tidal wave reports show wave impact you in 50 minutes, more or less. I'm going ashore now. If you don't hear from me in 30 minutes, get out of the storm area immediately. Over. Aye, sir. Kowalski, see if we're still operational. Aye, aye sir. I'll report back from the island. <laughs> Chief, sir, take a look around, see if there's another way out of here, huh? Yes, sir. That thing's never gonna let us out of here. Did you find anything? Please turn me listen. Admiral, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I found a way out. Good. Come on, Spring. that tidal wave will hit us? Indeed I do. Well, what are we going to do? A wave of any magnitude will swamp the island and there's no possible cover. I know what I'm going to do. Now, hold, hold on, Spike. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to get my treasure. You're going to get your what? I know it's there. Nothing's going to stop me from getting it now. All right, Sprague, I keep telling you there's no treasure there. It's all an hallucination. No, sir. He tried to kill you. No, no, no. He didn't come close. Well, he did mumble something about a treasure when we pulled him out of the quicksand. And... Hey, if he tries to get back there, uh -huh. we've... we've got to stop him. Admiral! Hey, Skipper, so good to see you. Lee, I hope it's really you this time. It is, Admiral. See you and the flying sever offshore. We gotta get off this island right away. How do we find Sprague? Here, come in, You come with me, Chief. Stay here, maintain contact with Seaview. All right, sir. Come with me. Shore party calling Seaview. Shore party calling Seaview. Come on, please. Hey, Sprague. Where are you? Yeah. Spray. 
take off in the raft. Can you see us? Yes, sir. We have you in our sights. And Kowalski is the flying sub-operational. Good. But we can't take off without covering fire from you. We have nothing to stop that creature, and it has to be destroyed. Use short-range missiles. Nothing else will even put a dent in them. Give us two minutes to get clear of the shore, then fire the moment you see it. Admiral, the margin of error is... We've got to take some chances, Jeff. Two minutes. Out. Missile room. Stand by to fire short range weapons. Missile room standing by. We're all set to show off, sir. Come on. We'll get you trapped. We can't move out. I told you to shove off. Now that's an order. Okay, Chief, shove off. Aye, sir. Nelson, this evening. Fire your missile, Chip. Monster. Uh, mission accomplished. Good. Now let's get back to CV before the tidal wave hits. Huh? Well, there's no point in charting that island, gentlemen. It doesn't exist anymore. Incredible how it disappeared. Yeah, that second tidal wave destroyed it completely. Well, no great loss, I say. Right, Captain. Between that creature and the horrors we all hallucinated, we were lucky to get off alive. What I'll never understand is my obsession with that pirate treasure. Well, perhaps it was something uh, buried deep in your unconscious. That's right. Your version of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yes, but I've always been a very careful, very rational man with a firm grip on reality. Now I don't know what was real and what was illusory. Hmm. Well, this was real in any case. Compliments of the evening, sir. 